you should not talk let your work talk but i cannot do that my job is to talk to chat i'm really missing all of you my dear students keep a smile on your face that is the energy for me so in today's session i will be discussing some of the important things that you should know before starting the course or before starting this subject the first thing that i want to discuss is birds eye view sir what is this birds eye view what are you going to discuss in this today's session three important things i will be discussing the first one is prerequisites sir what is that you will call it as a prerequisites the prior knowledge before we start this subject is what i will call it as a prerequisites so what is the topics that you should remember or what is the topics that you should recollect from the class 11 whatever we have done is what i will call it as a prerequisites i will be discussing that in detail the second one is learning outcome sir what is this learning outcome once you are done or once you are done with this particular subject what is that you will have in your bag is what i will call it as a learning outcome and the third one is marks distribution so how your marks is getting distributed is what i will discuss in detail in the third topic that is marks distribution moving on the first thing that i will be discussing in this today's session is all about prerequisites my dear students i think all these topics you will be knowing which we have already covered and which we have already no completed in the class 11 but suppose if you don't know these topics i will be doing this topics in the next chapter that is revision tour 1 i will be dealing each and every topic in detail with the example with the demonstration but in today's session i will just give you a glimpse of it the first topic is all about tokens token in the sense a smallest individual unit of a programming language so what is this token can you just give me an example sir imagine i have a building if i have a building treat this building as a program if i want to construct this building i will be using a smallest individual units can i call this individual units as bricks cement iron stone so same way if i want to have a program i should have a sum of the smallest individual units so that i will call it as a token so that is the first one that i have second one all of you will be knowing second one is variables and assignments suppose if i want to store any value okay i should have a variable the most important thing in python with respect to the variable you should remember is so before assigning any value to the variable you don't have to declare it whenever you are assigning a value then only you can declare in python that is the most important feature with respect to the variable but in any other programming language it is not like that you can declare the variable before you are assigning any value so that is the point that you should remember with respect to the variable the third one is simple input and output so how do i take the input from the user what is the syntax that i should use to take the input or to read the input from the user and how do i print what is the different syntax that i have to print the value on my screen is what i will be discussing in the simple input and output the fourth one that i have is data types so i have different types of data type in python which i will be discussing in detail please don't forget or please recollect so what we have discussed with respect to the list tuples and dictionary if i say list in the sense you should remember the square bracket if i say tuples you should remember parenthesis if i say dictionaries you should remember the flare brackets my dear students moving on to the next topic that is mutable and immutable sir what is the meaning of mutable and immutable mutable in the sense you can change immutable in the sense you cannot change which are all the data types that i have which i can change the value so that i will call it as a mutable immutable in the sense you cannot change the value is what i will call it as a immutable so i will be listing out some of the data types which is mutable and which is immutable that i will be discussing in detail the next one is expression how the python is going to solve this expression is what i will be discussing all of you will be knowing that we will be using a bodmas rule 
to solve any expression is what you know, we will be discussing in detail in the expressions concept. The next important one, all of you will be expert in this if conditions. You all know that we have four different types of if condition. The first one is simple if, the second one is else if, the third one is nested if and the fourth one is ladder if. So all this different types of if statements with the example is what I'm going to explain in the coming session. And the next one is looping statements. We have different types of looping statements. The first one is for loop. The second one is while loop. And I have a question for all of you. Do we have do while loop in Python? That you need to tell me in the comment box. I will be waiting for all of you. I will be waiting for all of you. Please remember, I will check each and everybody's comment. Please do comment. Do we have do while loop in the Python programming language? And the next one that I have is jump statements. So jump statements, I will be explaining with the program. So how many different types of jump statements that I have? Do I have break statement? Do I have labels? All those things I will be explaining in the jump statement my dear students so all these topics are very very important that i should know before i start my class 12th syllabus so for this problem guys i will be making a video for all of you in that video i will be explaining all these topics in detail with example i will demonstrate i will execute the program and then i will explain all these topics whatever i have listed before that what is that I want you all to do is please take a book, please take a notepad, please mark all these topics and just have a glance with whatever we have done in the class 12. This is a humble request from my side to all of you. Hope you all will do it. Moving on to the next thing. My dear students, hope all of you can see this. Your heart should beat only for Python. My dear students, I have given you a jigsaw puzzle in this slide. If all of you are seeing this slide, if all of you are listening to my class carefully, please do answer the jigsaw puzzle, whatever I have given in this slide in the comment box. So the hint that I'm going to give you is all letters that you have to consider, which I have given in the red color. Am I being clear? So whatever I've given in the red color, so that is a clue for all of you to solve the jigsaw puzzle. Moving on. So guys, what is that I have in this slide? So I have the concepts which I will be covering in the coming classes. So this is what you would be learning in the class 12 Python, my dear students. So let me explain one by one in detail. So guys, we are learning Python class 12 syllabus the first topic that we should know is as i told you the basics of class 11 okay this is what you should have the second one is functions sir what is functions all of you will be knowing guys suppose if i use this parenthesis all of you will be knowing that this is a function but Remember, this is a predefined functions. You will not define this function. It is already defined. But if you want to define your own function, so how do you define? What is the syntax to define your own function? So what is the, what is the meaning of parameter? What is the structure of the function? All those things I will be discussing in detail in this particular chapter. Moving on to the next chapter, that is recursion. What is the meaning of recursion? If a function calls itself again and again so is that is what i will call it as a recursion i will be dis discussing this topic in detail with the programs okay so that is what i will be discussing in recursion and the next topic that i will be discussing next chapter i'll be discussing is file handling what is file how do i create the file how do i open the file how do i close the file all those things I will be discussing in detail. In short, I will be discussing all the operations which I will be doing with files in this particular chapter. The next one is algorithmic efficiency. My dear students, suppose if you want to become a good programmer, you should remember 
the first important thing is your program should execute in a less time I mean to say your program should take very less time for the execution the second thing that your program should not consume much memory and your program should be efficient so how can I do that so for that I should write I should be able to write a algorithm or a program which will take very less time and which will consume very less memory so how do I analyze that so that is what I will be learning in this concept that is algorithmic efficiency so in this chapter you will be able to understand the complexity of the programs that I have or the complexity of the concept that I have in the program so that is what you will be learning in this particular chapter moving on to the next chapter that is SQL my dear students we have already discussed the structured query language and the database concepts in the class 11 but in this in this chapter you will also learn all the different types of queries that you have and the database concepts and also you will learn how you will establish the connection between the Python and the database so that is what you will be learning in this SQL concepts and the next topic that you will be learning is data structure so in this data structure you will be understanding different types of data structure that we have for example linked list stack queue all those things you will be learning with the help of programs and the next topic that we will be learning is cyber ethics and cyber crime I have a doubt or I will leave a question to all of you do I have this topic in the latest syllabus you need to tell me in the comment box and if you have a doubt I have given the syllabus in the description link and I have given the prescribed textbook or the best textbook to refer all this topic in the description link please do check I want all of you to go through the entire syllabus and I want all of you to refer the complete textbook which I am going to give in the description link my dear students so once I'm done with this topic I will be discussing the networks sir what is that you will be discussing in the networks so you will be understanding different types of network different topologies and also you will be having a fair enough idea about the different network devices my dear students so remember keep a smile on your face that is the energy for me and I'm moving on to the next concept in this session that is Marx distribution so guys your theory Marx distribution goes as follows the first unit so you have three units in that the first unit is computational thinking and programming too so this unit has got a weightage of 40 marks so in this unit you will be getting all the Python related concepts and the second unit completely deals with the computer networks so it has got a weightage of 10 marks and the third unit is completely related to the database management so it has got a weightage of 20 marks so total 70 marks so this is only for 70 marks that I have discussed till now but what about 30 marks are my dear students please don't forget you also have practicals okay I think you all of you will be eager to know the splits in the practicals so your practicals are very very important my dear students the first thing that you should know is you will have two programs the first program that you have to write is Python and the second one is SQL program which will establish the connection with a database so the first program that is Python program will have seven marks and the SQL program will have five marks so if you write both the program and if you are able to execute both the programs so you'll be getting 12 marks you'll be getting 12 marks the second one that you should remember is report file you should be able to write 20 programs in that it is mandatory that you should write four SQL programs remember you should write 20 programs in that four SQL programs you have to write in the report so report file in the sense what whatever you used to call like you know the record book so that is what we will call it as a report file and the third one is all about the project this is the interesting topic you will have a lot of doubt so how many people should be there in the group two or three so 
what is the topic that I should select? So what is the topic that I should have in my project? So should I use functions or should I use data structure or what is that I should have? Should I use file handling? My dear students, I will be making an exclusive video for project. I'll be discussing all the issues which is related to the project. How to do the project, how to select the topic for the project, how many members in the project. So all those things I will be making an exclusive video for all of you. Please don't worry about that particular project. So guys, so this project carries eight marks in the last part. So you have Viva. So Viva carries three marks. So total you will have 30 marks easily you can score 30 marks and I will promise you if you follow my session continuously all of you will be able to score very very good marks I can assure you can score 100 on 100 if you follow all my instructions my dear students don't read for the sake of just reading love the subject automatically you will score really good marks my dear students keep missing me until the next session in the next session i will be discussing the first chapter that is revision tour one so in that chapter i'll be discussing a lot of important topics with the program execution until then i will sign off thank you everybody